Here we have simplifying a radical expression with two variables. It doesn't mean anything different. It's just we're going to have another variable in the problem. So 27 is 3 times 9, which is 3 times 3. I do need a pair because of the square root. But then I have this extra 3 in the other um, square root. Here we're going to have x to the 6 over 2, and then we're going to have w to the 3 over 2. Now here this cancels, we get 3, we get that 3, 6 over 2 is a perfect 3, and then 3 over 2, 2 goes into 3 one time with 1 left over. So then this is 3, square root of 3, x to the third, w, just regular w, and then the square root of w to the first power, or just w. So take all of the outsides and multiply them together, 3x cubed w, and take the inside of the square roots and multiply them together, we get 3w. And this is the final expression. Okay, similarly we can do it to this problem. So 25 is 5 times 5, and those are both prime. So we do have that pair, 5 squared. There's nothing else to be included in another, parent, in another square root. So that's it for the number. Here we get t to the 1 over this index, 2, and w to the 7 over 2. Now 2 cannot go into, these are going to cancel. 2 cannot go into 1. So this just stays as is. Here you're going to have 2 goes into 7 three times, but you still have one left over. And then finally, you're gonna rewrite those fraction exponents as square roots, so t to the first power, and then w to the first power, and then the outside numbers get multiplied together, and then the inside numbers get multiplied together. In this case, they're variables, right? But that is the simplified answer. So just keep doing what you're doing. Um, they're gonna throw more and more and more bigger things under the denominator, but it all still works the same.